Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to what I believe is episode 6, or 7, of my Java 2D game tutorial. In the last episode, we got our tile, our world, we have it loaded, it even goes out of the screen, but don't worry about that. In this episode, what we are going to do is we are going to add player movement, so you will be able to move anywhere on the map, which is amazing. So, to do that, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to create a key manager. Now, this is going to handle all of our keys. So, let's put that in a class in a met in a package called input and we will call it key manager. Key manager. There we go. So, this is going to implement key listener there we go add the unimplemented methods there we go so this is gonna um so when the key when a key is pressed it calls this method when a key is released it calls this one and this one here it does pretty much key pressed i think so we won't need it we won't need it so you can just ignore that one these two we will need so let's change these this arg argument zero to e so, how are we going to do this? Um, hmm. Let's create a new class. Actually, no, not a new class. In our world, we are going to create a public static int x offset, which will be equal to zero. Public static int y offset. which will also equal zero there we go so what is this going to be for well we're going to apply this to the tile when we render it so if we add it it will move all the tiles over so how we do that is we're going to do x plus world dot x offset and y plus world dot y plus world oh my gosh world dot y offset now in our key manager all we have to do is if e dot get key code is equal to equal to key event dot w no key event um actually what is it uh, key, um, key, hmm, just a second. Right, whoops, how can I forget that? So it's key event dot vk, and to go up, we will have to press w, so vkw. We are going, if that is true, we're going to do world dot x offset plus equals 2 for now. Actually, we have to do world.y offset, and there we go. So now, let's do, let's copy this, and let's change them all to else if, and we have to copy it four times. Else if, else if, this is just for performance, and if it is VK A, VK S, or VK D. This uses, oh, excuse me. This uses W, A, S, D. So, when we press the A key, we're going to want to move left. So we're going to do X offset minus equals 2. Um, let me think quick. This is wrong. This has to be minus 2. So then, if we are moving down, we have to do world dot y offset plus equals two, and if we're moving to the right, we have to do world dot x offset plus equals two. Now let's run that. And if you press the keys, actually, geez, we haven't even. Oh my gosh, I don't feel very smart right now. So let's go into our main, and we're gonna do key 
manager km and now we're going to set it equal to a new key manager there we go so if you I've been watching the no oh, if you've been watching the GUI tutorial you may know how and what we do what we have to do is we have to register it with our JPanel. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a key listener, and this is going to be KM. So if we did this all correct, we can launch the application, and we can move around. But we did not do it correct. So if we do frame dot add key listener, maybe that'll do it. Whoa. Would you look at that? Everything is reverse. Actually, no, it's all correct. Would you look at that? We can actually move our map around. Is that not amazing? I think that's quite incredible. So now, oh, we have the up and down in reverse, but we can fix that. Now we can see the whole map, which is, oh my, this is so cool. But you may have realized we don't have a player, so there's really no use to this. Don't you worry. We will add that right now. First, though, we have to turn these all around. So when we press S, we have to subtract. And when we press W, we have to add. Now, you can change these numbers around to make it move faster. But I'll be honest here, I like this speed. It's a good speed. So, believe it or not, we have done it. We have movement. Woo! I think this is so cool. So, like I said, we need a player now. So, let's create a new class. Also put it in a new package called player. And it will be called player. Now, the player is going to need an x and a y. So, we're going to create a public int x, a public int y. This is all it needs for now, and we're so actually, no, it's not. It's also going to need a public int width, and a public int height. And finally, for collision, which is coming soon, in the next episode, actually, um, we're also going to need a public rectangle rect. So now we have to add the constructor. There we go. And this is not going to take in the x and y. It's going to take in the int width and the int height. And that's all it will need. So now we're going to set this dot x equal to main, actually, yeah, main dot width divided by 2 because why don't we just move the player around we don't do that the player actually is centered in the middle of the screen and the map moves believe it or not if you didn't know most games are like that actually pretty much every game is like that um, the player doesn't actually move but the screen moves so there's a cool thing that's what we're gonna do so we need to make sure we center it so we're gonna do main dot width divided by 2 which puts it in the middle and we have to make sure we put that in brackets and to that, we are going to subtract this thing's width divided by 2. So that puts it in the absolute center. So let's copy that, go down a line and, cop and paste it. And we're going to set this.y equal to main.height divided by 2. And this, and then height divided by 2. So that centers it. So now we're going to do rect equals a new new rectangle and now this is not going to be at the x and y it's actually going to be in a different place believe it or not for now we can just put at x and y and width and height but when we create the public void tick and the public void 
render with the graphics 2G 2D object. In the tick, what we have to do is we have to do rect dot set. Actually, yeah, set bounds to um, x plus world dot x offset and y plus world dot y offset. So using this simple math, we can actually find the position of the player. Um, hopefully that's simple enough, but that is all we have to do in the tick. In the render, let's do g dot actually g dot fill actually g dot set color and we're going to set it to color dot white because right now all our player is going to be is a lonely little white blob in the middle of the screen so we're going to do g dot render no <laughs> g dot fill rect mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm taking forever x y width and height boom that's already done for us so, believe it or not, that's it for this class right now. So, let's add that to our world. So, we're going to create a, add a public player, no, nope, public player P. Import that. Oh. What is our problem? public player p there we go that was weird and this is going to be equal to p equals a new player and the width is going to be let's put it to 40 by 40 okay there we go so now we have to make sure we tick it we have to make sure that's over the tiles so we're going to do p not tick and we have to make sure we render it over the tiles. So p dot render. So now that should do it. So if we run that, we cannot see our player. Now what is going on with that? Let's find out. Alright, I figured out the problem. Really not a very smart mistake. Um we forgot to set the width and the height, so that's a really easy fix, but it's a stupid mistake, but hey, those happen a lot, so no big deal. So where's it? This dot width equal to width and this dot height equal to height. Also, something else I found out while we I was debugging. This has to be plus. I hope that is correct. <laughs> um I think it is. Okay. So now, if we run that, we can see that I was actually incorrect. So now, if we do it one last time, look at that. Whoa. We have our player. We have our player. And I just realized left and right are reverse too. So once again, just like we fixed our other problem, it is simple. It's the world that Y offset actually x offset we're gonna have to subtract and here we are going to have to add so that should fix it yes it did so boom look at that we actually managed to get random generation we have a moving player and next we are going to do collision Woo! alright well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see everybody, hopefully, in the next episode. Goodbye.